Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for January 21, 2023, the truthful, not comprehensive edition. We begin with that story as Elon Musk takes the stand in the funding secured lawsuit and claims he was truthful, just not comprehensive. And that was his frame of mind when he floated the possibility of taking Tesla public. Um, the He said that uh, he really was using a sort of a business shorthand to communicate to shareholders this is what he was thinking and that they just misinterpreted funding secured. Uh, Next up from the Wall Street Journal, um, the FTC wants Pharma Bro, the most hated man in New York, Martin Shkreli, to be held in contempt. The um, for failing to comply with an investigation into whether he violated a court order banning him from the pharmaceutical industry. You have to ask who would be stupid enough to do business with Shrek Rally because that is about as big a red flag as you can have. But apparently um, the um, FTC believes that he's founded a new company called Drug Like Inc. Boy, if that doesn't sound like pharmaceutical, um, The company claims to be a drug discovery software platform. But of course, it's Shrek Relly, so you have to know he is not telling the truth literally about anything. Uh, Next up, uh, from The Athletic, an article about the imbroglio of the U.S. men's national soccer team uh, with its coach um, and former star player Gio Reyna, uh, son of uh, prior team hero Claudio Reyna, and it really details how everyone has lost in this matter. Uh, Reyna, uh, Gio, of course, uh, failed to really uh, practice, participate, or be a part of the team that went to Qatar, uh, then got his feelings hurt when he wasn't played. The coach gave a, a talk, uh, which probably he shouldn't have been made public, but it was, uh, about Reina's lack of uh, doing anything for the team in Qatar. And then that was made public. And as a result, uh, his mother, uh, soccer mom extraordinaire, Claudia Reina, uh, then disclosed to the U.S. Soccer Federation that the coach, Burhalter had assaulted his wife, then a girlfriend, now a wife of 30 years, some 30 years ago. Of course, not asking her opinion, but uh, nevertheless, I guess, bringing a bystander claim. And our final story comes to us from Africa News, which says the son of the president of uh, Equatorial Ghana has been arrested for corruption charges for stealing national airline airplanes and then selling them and pocketing the money. Given his prior history, it's uh, hard to believe that he was arrested or that he'll be held, but his reign of corruption continues. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.